Good morning, how to use React Hook form with Material UI? We will take the login form example from the Material UI website. Let's get the source code. Sign in.js and I'm gonna just copy the whole code and then paste it in our application. Let's remove the copyright and let's remove it from layout as well. Now let's go through this form layout. Here we have a bunch of layout elements, we have a container, we have a wrapper that makes it look like a card, we have an icon, we have a title with text sign in, we have the form that we're gonna handle using React Hook form, and then we have a text field for email address, a text field for a password, a checkbox, and the, the actual checkbox is nested here inside the form control label. Let's see if it will be a problem for React Hook form. We have a submit button. And we have a bunch of links, one for forgot password and another one for creating the new account. Let's open the browser and see if it works. Okay, here we have our form. We can enter the email address, testtest.com, 123123, remember me, sign in. So let's handle it using React Hook form. And when we submit our form, let's alert the data that we collected from it. So first we import use form, use form from React hook form. Then we scroll a little bit down in the beginning of our component. We need to get the register from React hook form, use form. And also we'll need handle submit. On submit of our form, we're going to alert the values. So. In our form, let's write on submit handler. It will be a function that receives the data and it calls alert with JSON stringify data. And we need to wrap this callback into handle submit. Handle submit and close the bracket. Now we need to pass the register to our inputs. Material UI text fields expose input ref. So we can pass our register to input ref register. And we do the same for the password. Now we have a checkbox here. Let's pass an input ref register. And we also need to pass the default value. In our case, it will be false. And let's remove the value remember from it. Also for the checkbox to work properly, we need to provide the name for it. Name equals remember. And this is it. Let's go to the browser, enter the email and password. Remember me, sign in. Here you see our email, our password and the value of the remember. It's checked, so it is, the value is true. As you can see, it was very quick and easy. But what if the inputs wouldn't expose the input ref property? Let's go back to the code and let's imagine that our checkbox does not expose the input ref. Remove it. And in this case, we will need another tool from React Hook form, which is called controller. And also we'll need to get the control from use form hook. Now we scroll down to the checkbox and we change the checkbox to controller. We pass control to it. We pass the input that we handle as checkbox. And all the props that we will pass now to controller will be propagated down to the checkbox. So we need to pass the name, it is remember, color, which is primary, and default value, which is in our case false. Now we can remove the original checkbox, close the bracket, and go back to the browser. Let's test it again. Remember me is true, sign in, and it works. React Hook form is insanely easy to work with. We use it in our team and I totally recommend you to at least try it. If you want to pick the topics for the next videos, join my Discord server and write your ideas there. See you next time.